for tuning in to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. Today we have a great program prepared for you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Whoa. Thank you so much for tuning in to Fellowship with the Door, man. You know, the sun is shining out there and God is shining down on us to glorify Him because He's always with us and we're so thankful and grateful, you know, for this day. Let's go to the throne with a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of your loving Son and our Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, for this moment. Once again, God, to come to you to glorify you, Father. We love you, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We asking you, God, to Bless this program here today, God. Fellowship with the doorman. Father, bless it, God, to go out through the land to touch somebody, God. God, just to do your will, Father. We love you, Father. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, Proverbs 18, 16, 18, chapter 16, verse says, A man's gifts... A man's gifts taketh him before great people, great men. Amen. So God gives us all gifts to do his will. Today, I have a friend of mine, Frank Sugarchild Robinson, and he's been throughout the land from back in the day. So he was on the first day of January, and I promised you he would be coming back. So I'll, I'll go talk to my brother and then we'll bring him on to do a, a couple songs for us. God bless you. My brother, Frank Sugarchild Robinson. Wow, man, it's a joy to have you back here today. And we thank God for you. When you were here on the first day of January, uh, you weren't able to play, you know, because of technical issues, the piano. You know, we couldn't get that going. So you, you came back, and, and you're going to bless us today with, with a couple of your songs. Amen? Amen. Well, let me shake your hand, my brother. Right. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that I love you. And I love you I too, thank man. God for you. Uh, who's the young man back there? Uh, what's your name, sir? Michael Harris. Michael Harris. <laughs> Michael Harris on drums. So I'll move out of the way so you can do your thing. All right. Shook. Okay. One night for the brown. Naked Locked up the barnyard and raving in there. Down in the hen house, something disturbed. We tried to move there, but this is what he heard. Ain't nobody here but us two. Ain't nobody here but at all. Thank you. 
fighting. Thank you much. Ain't nobody here with the chickens uh, uh, the lying on, on that if somebody was out of place and they were breaking in the hen house or something? Yeah, but uh, they was going to fool the farmer, though. Okay. They wanted to know, you know, we trying to sleep. Oh, the and chickens. You, and you run in your mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, let us rest. And fa farmer's name was Farmer Brown, huh? I don't know what his last name was. <laughs> yeah, so he was down there messing around and, and uh... He was just locking up the hen house, yeah. you know. Okay, wow, that's a little, a little ditty. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, God bless you, man. I'm so glad for you to be here again today. What kind of uh, events you got coming up, sure? Oh, uh, Tuesday uh, at 8,000 Woodward at the Metropolitan Church, uh, we'll have a performance there. Okay. We'll be performing, and uh, I would like all my friends to come and uh, see what I can do. Hey, Amen. Well, you know, you've been doing this a long time. Yes, I have. 8,000 Woodward, you say? 8,000 Woodward, Colonel of Chandler. What's the name of the church? Metropolitan Methodist Church. Oh, okay. Metropolitan Methodist Church. Yes. Okay. Oh, the wow. show starts at 6, but you got to get there early because otherwise you're not going to be able to get a seat or parking. Yeah, I, I, I realized that because you invited me last week and uh, you stressed 5 o'clock. You said, well, get here early. So I got there. It was before 6, I guess, because I... And, uh, you know, like I'm outside calling you at your house, and you told me to come on in. I said, well, I'm outside. So you said, no, I'm at the place. So I got there, and thank God you saved me a seat. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Well, God's will. I plan to be there. All right. And uh, I support you, and I thank you so much for coming here, you know, to be with me, your brother, on Fellowship with the Doorman. Well, let's see what Mike Got so you got something to say, Mike? Hey, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm just right. happy to be here. Um, God has been so good to me. Uh, uh, I, I give the Lord uh, all the praise, all the honor. Hallelujah. Amen. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He's the head of my life. And I thank him so much for being in the presence of uh, men, men of valor. Hallelujah. As, as you And God has brought us full circle to come here to give him the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, he's a God of laughter. So hallelujah, we thank him for coming forth to with the word of God. God said, feed them what they're eating. And we want to come and just say, thank you, Jesus. We want to give them, give us the food that we need, Lord. Praise God. Yeah, Mike, that's true. You know, uh, uh, God is, God is pleased, you know, and it's, it's a joy, you know, to please God. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, uh, God gives us jobs to do, but people don't do the job that they do. That they're supposed to be doing. You know, God tells us in Psalms 37, he tells us to delight ourselves in the Lord. He tells us to uh, trust in the Lord. And he tells us to commit your way unto the Lord. And trust also in him. Hallelujah. And he will give you the desires of your heart. You know, uh, that's in travel and uh, uh, meeting people and ministering God's word because we're all ministers. Amen. We, Amen. We, we should all be ministers. Somebody say, well, I'm not a preacher, but you are a preacher. You're a minister of God's word. Amen. If you know Jesus Christ, you know, you're supposed to minister God's word in love and tell somebody about Jesus. And he, he tells her that he will give us the desires of our heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't speak for you. You got your own story. See, that's his, his story. Right. That's his story. Yes, my sir. story is my story. Yes. And Brother Anton, the uh, our producer of this program, he has his own story. We all have individual stories. Well, I know God is blessing me. Uh, and I'm careful to always give God the glory and say, if it's your will, God, I will. It's well, will I'm scheduled, I'll say that I'm scheduled to leave for Israel on the 24th of uh, April. Beautiful. For about 10 days. If it's God's will, I will go. Hallelujah. Uh, it's scheduled. You know, uh, uh, we plan, God tells us to plan and Amen. to, uh, you know, and, and I, I'm looking forward to going to Israel and being able to minister, uh, I'm actually going with a minister by the name of Prince Miles. Okay. Uh, uh, 
International Gospel I've Center, heard of him. Southfield. Amen. Uh, he 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 he's a great man. Yeah. So uh, I fellowship with him. You know, God wants us all to fellowship, just like we fellowship in here on fellowship with the doorman. Amen. Amen. He tells us to to fellowship with our brothers. And uh, over the last week, I'm on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, I have a group from India. Wow. India, you know, they're trying to get me over there. So I I can truly say that God is fulfilling my desires of my heart. Because I, I, I've asked him to bless me to go to, to uh, around the land to preach his word and sing his songs. And I'm excited. All right. I'm excited for you, for my brothers, and I'm excited to tell you that I love you. And I thank God for our relationship, our brotherhood. Reverend Ed, I'm glad also. Oh, man. Well, Me I'm, too. I'm glad for you too, uh -huh. Shug, and for Mike. You know, uh -huh. well, amen. And God gives us that walk each and every day. He tells us to trust in the Lord, commit our way unto the Lord. And he tells us to, you know, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto oh. our own oh. understanding. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He tells us that he will give us the desires of our heart and yes, to commit our way unto the Lord. Wow. Shil, you think we can get another song from you? If you like, what would you want to hear? Well, man, I want to hear some of that old time gospel, you know, because you, you, whatever you feel. My brother, Sugar Child, I promise you. Everybody right because everybody is somebody and God made us all to do his will You know, uh, I'm just so excited uh, each and every moment of my life and, and I see the joy that's within you and Mike and uh, you know as we go, you know And we're supposed to let our light so shine before men that they will see our good works and glorify our father Which is in heaven. Amen, Amen. Amen. Glorify our Father which is in heaven. If you got a gift, if you got a light, 
Let your light so shine wherever you go, whatever you do. And God tells us, don't hide that light under a table, under a bushel. Amen. Set that gift out there so it'll make a difference to somebody because somebody, somebody, we have no clue who it might touch. True. Hallelujah. You know, we, we, we don't have a clue because I'm, I'm sure we can all relate to this. You know, we've been out in, in different places and in, in different areas. And if we'd been out there acting a fool, we would have been busted. You know, yeah. somebody walk up and say, oh, Frank, a sugar child. I remember when. Yeah, right. Uh, that would have busted. Yeah. Bust you. Hallelujah. I know I've been out and, and uh, people come up and they say, Evangelist Ed or Reverend Henry or, or just plain Ed. And I've actually been in restaurants, you know, and uh, you got somebody in the line grumbling. You know, so they're looking for you to co-sign. To co-sign, they're grumbling. Right. So they want you to join in with them. Yes, sir. But God tells us to teach patience to our fellow man, to yes, our loved ones. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, teach sir. that patience. And, uh, you know, they're talking about the young people that are working. But young people need a chance, too. You know, they need to learn. Uh, I said, just give them time. You know, we have to let our light so shine at that moment. Amen. You, you know, we don't have time to think about it. We have to stand there. We have to stand firm because God is looking at us. Amen. And we want to be pleasing to him. We cannot co-sign for what our fellow man is doing. Amen. Amen. Well, Shug, I thank you so much, my brother. All right. I love you. You know, so we're going you know, to fellowship and we're going to do brotherhood and we're just going to be together till we die. All right. You too, Brother Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Love Henry. you, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Praise God. You might hear me say praise God, but this is something that God wants us all to do. He wants us to praise Him at all times. He tells us to pray at all times. You know, if we pray, then we know that He's that He's pleased. Amen. God tells us to pray without ceasing. Amen. I'm going to Psalm, the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. What he's telling me is I have everything that I need. If we trust in him, amen, things come up and, you know, things get hard and uh, this is only temporary because but God, except for the grace and mercy of God, there go I of the lost sinner. Amen? Because the, last, the lost sinner has no backing. But we as Christians, we know that God is going to look out for us. You know, so you say, well, uh, when you lose your job, okay, but God, but God is going to Give me something better. Amen. When you lose your job, if you lose a loved one, you know that we, we uh, can't bring that loved one back, but we know that God has told us, told us that if we want to see that loved one, we can't bring them back, but we can go to them. We can go to that loved one that's gone on. So that's a, ple that's, that's, that's a blessing. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. We have everything we need. We have food. We have shelter. I've been to foreign lands. I've been to Panama. Uh, God takes care of them. But what 
at what they are doing, you know, he has them. He has the mindset. They know their situation. I've been to Panama. I was on the Panama Canal. I was sitting out there. I was in the Air Force. And, and I was sitting out watching the ships come in. And the Panamanians, some of them, their homes were crates. Like furniture is shipped in. Made out of cardboard. Uh, it doesn't snow there, obviously. But it rains. But they were satisfied with what they had. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He tells us that he will take care of us. Amen. He lets me rest in green pastures. Wow. He's making me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leads us besides the peaceful stream. He's always there. Amen. He's always there. When we get weak. When we get weak. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. Righteousness. You say, well, well I don't know if I can, I, I can stay focused on all that righteousness all the time. Well, no, you can't. But what does God's word say? I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me. Anything we go through is a test. It's a test. God is always there. He told us that he would never leave us or forsake us. Even till the end of the world. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You know, I'm at the age now, I've been there and I've done that. Uh, I, I haven't arrived totally to where I should be because that will never happen until I leave here. As long as we're on this earth, we will never complete all the tasks that we have planned for ourselves. Amen. We know what we want, but God knows what we need. Every day I make a list of some something that I'm going to do, some place that I'm going to go, or somebody that I'm going to call that day, that I'm going to touch. Amen. And I try to do that, but I never complete that list. I have a list that I make out every day, you know, for this day. I make it out the night before. I say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to call Brother Brother Jackson over here, Brother Jones over here. But I never get around to fulfill that list. I thank God for you. I'm going to ask you to please support Fellowship with the Doorman. Uh, it comes on cha Channel 20 cable, first and third Sunday. We're looking to go every week. So I'm asking you to support us. You know, we... I. I get support from uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, or from different places. This is a brand new ministry. This is a brand new ministry. I'm preaching God's word and bringing on guests. And, and if anybody want to come on the program, you can be a supporter and a guest. Come on and tell somebody about your business. Come on and tell somebody about your ministry. Amen. I'm going to do my latest song. It's called Plenty More. God has plenty more for us. He has an abundance. Amen. He'll never run out. He has enough for you, me, and everybody. Amen. Thank you. Plenty more where that came from. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 
that came from. Thank you, Father. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. It Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. <laughs> 